vlog. Today we are doing a little bit behind the scenes. Um, we are doing some rollers and some shots of the giveaway trucks. We actually did rollers yesterday and I feel like it's important to explain to you guys that it takes a lot of people to do this stuff. So Mike and I are here. A lot of work, and thank God I have Gina that's always down to be a driver or help. Well, it's, it's always a lot, a lot of, of fun. It's, it's definitely a lot of fun. So today it's Mike and I and Ben. Ben is in the other truck and he's taking pictures currently. But yesterday when we did rollers, Bobby needs to always drive Ben in Ben's car because it's like the ideal car for him to take photos out of because it's lower to the ground. And then Mike and I will drive the giveaway vehicles so it's always like a big team effort thing and then today it's, we're it's just hours yeah <laughs> it's hours and days and days i mean it, it's not like you know grueling manual labor but it's a lot of like behind the scenes crap that goes into making one cool montage and getting photos and doing all that but we do love it because we get to be out here and these trucks look like what we're filming right now is going to turn out really cool yeah it's cool to see the finished result the only like super stressful thing is whenever you hit traffic and of course we hit terrible traffic yesterday and the reason why mike keeps looking up is because this today is, is a big day today is the eclipse day and it is currently happening while we are out filming i don't want to hear it in the comments you guys because we're already doing it now so if you're going to give us a lesson of how we're going to go blind it, like we already did it. We did not order the glasses. We are terrible, terrible people. So we're looking at it through a sunroof, through like sunglasses. It's totally fine, and it's cloudy. We're out, using so a totally bunch of sunglasses. I wear like four at a time, and I just quickly peek, like super, super fast. So I'm staring at it. Mike is being really irresponsible about it. You only get one pair of eyes, so I wish he would be a little bit more careful about it. But it's getting covered like crazy fast and we're gonna get I think 92% coverage which is really cool so I'm gonna see if you guys can see it through the lens because it's insane it's weird though it's mostly covered it doesn't affect like it's a little bit darker out because of the clouds but it doesn't <gasps> like it's not any darker it's broad daylight it's out here. really cloudy but you can see it there it is right there it's really cool it's cloudy actually because then you can see it so well it, it's definitely helpful because it has cleared up without clouds and it's way too bright. You can't look at all. Yeah. So this is, it's helpful having it be cloudy. But this is insane. This is my first eclipse ever seeing. I've never seen one before. Never on this path have we had like almost full coverage. Look at that. <laughs> you look so silly. Got all my glasses on. I, I'm not, I really I'm not sure it. how many times we've had the opportunity. I just know that there has been an opportunity because my astrology teacher in high school, he was my favorite, Mr. Smith. I'm sure he's freaking out today. He always got excited about this kind of stuff. But he would tell us when things were coming up and then it always happened to be terrible weather and then we could never see it. So today is perfect. And I know a lot of people are getting an even better view and Texas just had it full coverage and it was pitch black out. It's really, it's so cool to see this. And I was excited to get it on the vlog and share this with you guys. Now you can't see nothing. And also the fact oh, that look. like we can look back at this with our kids one day and be like, look what we got to see, you know? The sun got covered. I think you guys can see it right there. We're 12 minutes away from our max coverage <sighs> that we're going to get, which is 92%, which I thought was going to be like, all right, it'll be blackout and it'll be totally covered. But honestly, given the fact that it's more than 50% now and there's no noticeable difference outside really besides again it's cloudy i think yeah, it's I mean, just the clouds that's making it a little darker out i don't think it'll really be that dark honestly i think if any part of that sun is sticking out it's so bright that it just doesn't matter but yeah we'll find out i kind of hope it's like dusk it would be really cool to see that but this is so exciting we've been very excited about this all day <laughs> i wish we would have prepared a little bit more but i think we're okay you know just taking quick little peeks. I mean, Mike is straight up staring at it. Well, so. I've got three glasses on and window tint through clouds. I mean, I feel like that's pretty safe. I can't wait. I can't I wait I close my eyes, I don't see scream. any sun like or anything, so I think it's fine. People are gonna scream in the comments. We are getting dangerously close Ten to minutes. max coverage and the clouds are a bit much now. You can't see the sun at all. So hopefully they clear out in the next 10 minutes. It's pretty hard for you guys to see, but it's getting dark out and you know what? the temperature dropped. Like it is cool out now. Look at Michael go. You look so funny. <laughs> this is the coolest I've ever looked. Personally. Oh my God. I can't believe how much the temperature dropped. This I is so crazy. I think that's what that guy's doing. I was wondering, I was like, what's that guy doing? Oh yeah, he's getting shots of the eclipse. I think he's getting shots, yeah. This yeah, actually, there's a guy down there. This is actually a great spot to be. Well, it's happening. It's full coverage and I can't get it on the camera because now that all the clouds went away, it's still too bright. That little sliver is making it look like it's the exact sun. But it looks really, really cool. 
I just, I can't show you guys. Well, the clouds kind of messed that up, but it was still really cool to experience. So now we're gonna get back to work and I am going to drive this truck while Mike flies the drone and then Ben is gonna drive the other truck. And Ben did try his best. He's great with cameras, obviously like, that's his job so he was trying to do settings on my camera to try to get the best shot of the sun at the very end and just couldn't figure it out it was just way too bright so at least I got some shots earlier with the clouds covering it and you guys could still see like a little bit and I mean I'm sure a lot of you got to see it happen in person but for those of you that didn't get to see at least there's you know a little bit of footage here and of course people are gonna have awesome pictures to post and really professional footage and I'm excited to see all the pictures and videos that everyone shares I have really bad news guys really bad news this is Casey Neistat to its finest he flies his drone great footage <laughs> Oh and then he crashes God. here and there. This is Mike's first crash ever. Yeah, well, I was going for a oh. low shot, right, to come across this stream, because I was Beautiful. like, this is really cool. And I thought I was clear of the tree. I think I just barely clipped a branch. Like, I didn't, like, go crashing into the trees. And then I'm like, well, it's got to be, like, right in this field. It'll be open. What are the chances? No, it's perfectly no. intact. It was a very light collision. I think it would have been fine. Like it's this. in the water. That's literally devastating to see. <laughs> That's so sad, babe. Our little drone. Oh. What are the odds that it freaking fell in the water? Anywhere look else. Here. Look, it's totally, it, even the props are fine. What is happening? Look at the deer. What? This even is the so sad. Look, look, even the prop, nothing's broken. But it's dead. Oh, no. I mean, some really cool shots here. Looks awesome. Moments before death. And then here's where I was like, all right, so. I'm gonna come across this stream. So I'm like, all right, tree's right there, cool. So you're going I'm clear of the stream. And then right here, I thought I was plenty ahead of it, the trees. Aww. And then, but I wasn't. I, no. thought I, I thought I had so much room there to go across the road and I didn't. <laughs> I thought I was so So it ran into that. one of those up there. Yeah, but look, like, doesn't it look like, cause I was like, okay, look, there's a big open spot. Yeah, what? So I swivel and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go right across it here. And I move way up. I move way up to the road. And like these trees don't Maybe come Maybe it anywhere. hit a bird. Is that possible? I mean, these trees don't come anywhere near the road. Oh no, no it, it hit a tree. tree. Nope, <laughs> it so, hit a tree. It was it this one? This one had to be right yeah, there. Yeah, it was the top branch it looked like. Yeah, just right at the top. Oh. Damn, I, I must have just barely hit it. That is so very, very sad. Well, since all of that footage was very depressing about the drone, sad. I figured we would make this vlog a little bit more exciting, a little bit more fun. I did forget my camera walking out of the house because it's a lot to bring these little girls places have to remember a lot of things water water bowl their harnesses their leashes you know the list goes on and on so i'm vlogging on my phone which normally isn't the best but we are going to take them for a hike bobby and mia are along what's up so all the gals are gonna go for a big hike oatmeal loves to go on this walk it's so much fun for her really especially good. whenever it's muddy oatmeal loves the mud she loves to splash in the mud yes all right we're making our way up taking a nice little slow hike Gotta be slow for the little French Bulldogs, of course. And then, of course, there goes Ernie running for you guys to show off. But we just let them off leash and they explore and they have such a great time. This is like one of their favorite things to do, be off leash and explore. We did a slow and steady walk up. The girls did great. And now we have a gorgeous view. Look how beautiful that is. Never gets old. Yep, this will never get old. It's so stunning and so worth it. It's just incredible up here. What better way to end a hike than to eat donuts? I feel like this is the perfect way to end a hike. These are my favorite donuts. I'm so excited to eat them. Piggy thinks that she's gonna have some. I mean, she did work really hard, but baby, you cannot have donuts, sweet girl. I am going to wrap up the vlog here. The plan was for Michael and I to go shopping for a new drone and to vlog that and everything but it's already nighttime, as you guys saw with the hike, the sun was already going down, and we're super, super hungry. We wanna get some dinner, and we have a really, really busy day tomorrow. I probably won't be able to vlog us getting the drone by the time I'm gonna upload this, so I'm just gonna have to leave that out of this vlog, but he's definitely gonna get the same type of drone, so it's not gonna be anything really special. I just wanted to bring you guys along to Best Buy with us, but you guys aren't really gonna be missing anything, so, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely a really cool video, but there was a pretty sad ending to it with the drone. So that sucked for sure. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and we will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.